Hey everybody, um, I'm coming to you from my brand new iPad. Um, I wasn't going to do a doll video because I went over to my dad's and, um, I didn't want to lug my dolls all the way over there today. Um, but something amazing happened. Um, as I was about to leave, this came. Um, I got Magnus. I'm pretty sure you've seen him before. If not, look at some of my older videos. Um, and I got him through, uh, does it say on here? I don't think so. Um, I got him through Alice's collection. Yeah, I got him through Alice's collection. Um, and when he arrived, um, he had, he was supposed to come with, um, human ears as well as elf ears and a cape. Um, when he arrived, however, uh, he came with a free head, which was awesome. But the human ears only fit the gift head and the elf ears only fit his head and the cape was missing. Uh, so I got in contact with them and they were really great about sending me, um, sending me my stuff. So I think that's what this package is. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to do that and after I'm, whoops, yeah, like I said, I'm doing this on an iPad, so it's balanced on my knees. Um, so it's, it's going to be, um, a little strange. Uh, so yeah, uh, after this, I'm going to do a BGD prompt because I said I was going to try and do one more often than I have. Um, I'm just going to change this around. You can have a dramatic upshot of me opening this thing. Yay, very dramatic upshot. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a, uh, BGD prompt, um, after this, so stay tuned. Alright, now let's get into this. I'm going to try not to kill myself considering I'm using like a, a knife of some sort. I don't know which kind. Yeah. I'm really excited to get this because the, the lady was wonderful. It was kind of funny because I got... Um, Magnus, like, a long time before Christmas. And then I got in contact with them. And then they got in contact with, um, Impendal, who, um, uh, that Magnus is from. And, uh, everything was good there. Um, but since it was a, a molded piece, um... It would obviously take a while. Uh, so, after Christmas I checked up, and they were like, oh yeah, they actually sent you another free head uh, along with your stuff. So that's pretty cool. I'll probably end up selling that, because um, I already plan to do another 70cm uh, doll. Um, but I don't, they're not really my thing, so I'll probably sell this head to help fund the body for the other one. Um, and then this, um, I'll, I'll explain why I need another 70 centimeter in the next prompt, because I'm going to do the prompt of doll backstories, and Magnus is pretty much the only one that has a backstory. Um, but yeah, so there should be a free head in here. So yeah, I did the, um, they contacted me, and then they, I checked, it took a while, and then I checked in again, and they're like, Oh yeah, they still haven't gotten in touch, uh, touch with us as far as the cape, because the cape was actually what took the longest. I have no idea why. Um, and then they're like, oh yeah, unfortunately you're going to have to wait until after Chinese New Year. Oh, uh, sorry. And like, that was fine as long as it was coming. I didn't have to pay for uh, shipping or anything. So. I can already smell the resin. Which is a good thing. So I've got bubble wrap everything. Take this off in. Stuff. It looks like they sent me some extra stuff. Which would be so cool. Alright. Um. Head first. Let's dive in head first. 
Okay. So. And I bought Magnus uh, with a face up. So I wasn't sure if this was going to come with a face up or not. I'm not expecting it to. Um, so you never know. You never know. Yep, it doesn't have a face up. But he is still a beautiful head. No. So there is an unblushed Magnus face. Okay, let me just put the tip can out of here. So I'm gonna make I'm still debating on whether Yeah, so here's a Magnus head with the ears. They're actually they said they were going to send them with the, the magnets unglued. Um, so I can put these on my blushed head. And they didn't, so I'm I'm hoping I still don't have the same problem that I had before because my other head was blushed. Um, so I'll update you about that. Um, yeah, I'll show you the inside as well. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm still debating on whether I'm going to make this, like, Magnus the twin, um, and then we'll be this head and his head, twin brothers, and then sell the, the, um, gift head that they gave me, or if I am going to, uh, sell this second head and um yeah use the free head or I may sell the free head and this Magnus head um uh in order to finance the body so if anyone is interested in that head uh, just hit me up and let me know. I'm more than willing to s to hear you out for your offer. And I am looking for a 70 centimeter body, however. Um, so if you have a um, slim 70 centimeter or like high, I don't know what the size is, it's like 67 centimeter. Uh, body, but they, it has to be slim. Um, body, uh, maybe we can work something out as far as payments and stuff. And then here's the unblushed uh, elfie ears. So yeah. Um, if I do deci decide that I'm going to sell this head, it's only going to come with elf ears, provided. Um, these ears work on Magnus. Um, and if I sell the other ears, it's, or the other head, it'll probably still only come with elf ears because they, they do it the same. Um, if they end up being twins, I'm going to keep, um, the elf ears, the elf ear potential for both boys, or sorry, the human ears. For both boys and then with the option of the elf ears for Magnus because they're blushed since they came with him um so yeah just so you know if you want to buy one of the heads from me or both or whatever they're gonna come with elf ears and they're, they're really they're really pretty so yeah just so you know um and the way their heads constructed if they're wearing a wig um you can actually pull the hair down over the spot because the, the ears come off like that and you can't really tell that they're missing ears but yeah I'm kind of disappointed that it didn't come with magnets out um so then I could do it myself and make sure I got what I wanted alright and then this 
could be the case that it didn't come. This is the cape. It's got a really nice pattern on it. And um, it's a hooded cape. So it buttons. Or maybe it doesn't button. Maybe there's a drawstring somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. Um. Okay, so here's the deal. It's got an elastic string thing uh, in this top bit for fitting around the head. And then it's got an elastic thing that I'm guessing goes around the shoulders. Uh, and then it's got these little holes. Sorry, little holes. Um, so maybe the string goes through the hole. It looks like it could. Alright, I'm just going to make you sit here and watch me for a moment. But yeah, I'm really glad he came with a cape. He looks, he looks not quite as magical as he could possibly be without a cape. And sometimes I'd like have him in his stuff and just be standing there and be like, I really wish he came with a cape. Oh, wait. So I'm going to put that through the outside because it would tie around his chin. So yeah, it sort of makes a, a pocket like that. Because on the, the website it looks like it is very poofy and whatnot. on the top of his head because to to fit his his big ears and stuff like that. Mm. I didn't push it out, but it wasn't in there very well. The 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 grommet on this one is sort of out. It actually looks like it probably never got caught in the fabric. Because there's there's plenty of potential fabric sitting right there. Of course maybe did it must have been busy or something. I'm not going to complain about that though, because I got a whole other head in the deal. It does present some effort trying to get this thing in here. I'm probably making like some really weird faces and stuff as I'm, as I'm pushing this in. And pull it together like it would go around his shoulders. And a little loopy in it. And we've got this nice long 70 centimeter cape. This uh, poofy bit. I guess he got all these up on this one. I guess he, he could count, uh, count these as like ear holes or something. And he would just have his head. 
I can tell this is not going to work. There's probably someone killing themselves laughing watching this. Yeah, yeah you know what? Screw that. It doesn't work. It's not going to work on him and he's too slippery. Actually, I wonder if these... Sorry, that's a thought. I wonder if these ears... Actually... These ones hit him. Because if they're backwards, I would laugh and laugh and laugh. Because someone isn't paying attention when they put these things in. Yeah, the magnets are functional. And actually, I think that ear is on the wrong side. And there, both magnets are facing the same way out. So, so, ears fit as well. Which makes me nervous that they won't fit the flushed head that I got. If they turn out not to fit the head I got, because it was flushed, I may just mention it to Infandol and then figure something out, even if it's like digging out the magnets and turning them around, because I don't really intend to, like, I'm not a seller. I don't like selling dolls. I don't like selling toys in general. You should sit around. Uh, and it turned out they didn't actually send me anything extra. It would have been nice considering all I had to wait. Except for uh, an eraser. Oops. Gift. Yeah, so they said it's a gift. It's a gift. But yeah, I don't have any... I don't have any MSC to put on a new face, so... That's not happening now. And lots of garbage. So, they're upstairs. Hmm. Oh, the, the, the cape came with this really cool little little thing on it. Almost like you could stick a hanger through, but you really couldn't. Um, one of the other clothes came with that. Alright, so. Backstory. So, I think this is part number four or something like that. Um... I'll have this in the title, so you know, even though, even if I don't. Mm. Oh, I don't know if that's going to work or not. So yeah. Uh, so the only one with the backstory is Magnus, um, who is my magician. And uh, his backstory is essentially, he's... Um, an elf magician, uh, um, he's a light elf, technically, um, and uh, he doesn't hang around his people um, because he tends to do stuff with, like, um, life force and stuff like that, and stuff that I, I think would be, um, I would consider taboo for um, elves, like, bringing things to life, killing things, um, stuff like that. Uh, but he doesn't give a flying, you know. Um, so yeah, he lives in this little cottage up in this village that time forgot sort of place. Um, and he is, um, he is at the beginning of his story, um, trying to, uh, create Tumnus, which is my little, my little, um, fawn, my little USD fawn, also from Infandel. Um, 
so he's created sort of a golem. He's created a body for him. Uh, and then he needs to find a soul. Um, so he goes off into a graveyard. Um, and he's so far he's had a whole bunch of failures. Uh, he goes off into a graveyard to try and find another soul. Uh, breaks into the kids, the like little kid section of the graveyard uh, to do some grave robbing. And as he's going along, he sees... Um, crap, what are they called? Um, like a voodoo priest or something like that, the kind that raise the dead and do all that sort of stuff, which he does a little bit, but he doesn't like necromancer. There we go. He's a necromancer. Um, so Magnus sort of dabbles in that area, but he doesn't bring things back for long periods of time. Uh, and long story short, they end up collaborating to bring um to bring Tumnus to life and um they end up being boyfriends um and that's really all the story I got um but yeah so um Alice doesn't really have a story I think he I think he's probably a model. I think that's basic, the basis of his story. Um, and then his uh, his sisters are his sisters. Um, the Alice and Rook and Flora are a completely different story than uh, Magnus and his boyfriend. Um, yeah. I think I'd like to get a boyfriend for Alice uh, at some point, but I have no idea um, what sculpt I'd, I'd get. I want him to sort... I want them both to sort of be like... Not to... I don't know, not to... Um, type A. I want them both to be sort of type B. Um, but yeah, so I, I pose this question to anyone who's muddled uh, their way through this. Um, you've seen my character, Alice. Uh, if you were going to pick a sculpt uh, to be his boyfriend, what sculpt would you choose? Um, so yeah. And let me know, because I don't know many sculpts either. Uh, so surprise me. Uh... Yeah, so uh, I just watched the Olympics, by the way. Um, so uh, go all athletes. Um, do your best. We're cheering for you. Um, and yeah, stay safe in this, this weirdly cold weather. And uh, have happy dolly things come to you out of the blue. Uh, so yeah, have a good day.